Imagine standing under a dark, starlit sky and gazing up at one of the most famous stars visible to the naked eye, Betelgeuse. This massive red supergiant in the constellation Orion has captivated astronomers and stargazers alike for centuries. Yet, in late 2019, something extraordinary happened, Betelgeuse, always a steady beacon in the night sky, suddenly began to dim. This unexpected behavior wasn't just a flicker in the cosmic landscape, it made headlines worldwide. The star's dramatic change sparked an astronomical frenzy, leaving scientists and enthusiasts wondering, what could this mean? Is Betelgeuse about to go supernova? Today, we'll dive into this cosmic enigma to uncover the secrets of Betelgeuse's strange behavior. Could its sudden dimming signal an impending supernova, or is it simply another chapter in the life of a star nearing its end? Let's explore the story of Betelgeuse, a tale filled with mystery, science, and a touch of the unexpected. Betelgeuse's sudden dimming in late 2019 wasn't just unusual, it was unprecedented. By February 2020, the star reached a historic low in brightness, puzzling astronomers around the world. This event, dubbed the Great Dimming, became the focus of intense scientific scrutiny. To put it in perspective, this was like a Hollywood celebrity vanishing from the spotlight overnight, an event so significant that it demanded everyone's attention. Stars, especially aging ones like Betelgeuse, do undergo natural cycles of brightness fluctuations. But this was different. The scale and duration of the dimming were so dramatic that it couldn't be dismissed as a typical phase. Some scientists speculated that the star was entering the final stages of its life, possibly preparing for a catastrophic explosion, a supernova. To understand the significance of Betelgeuse's dimming, we first need to know more about this colossal star. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, one of the largest types of stars in the universe. If placed where our sun is, its outer layers would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing everything in its path. That's how massive it is. This star is also incredibly unstable. It has burned through most of its nuclear fuel, leaving it in the final stages of its life cycle. When it does go supernova, it will release an immense amount of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies. But the question remains, when will this happen? Astronomers have been asking this for decades, and the great dimming only intensified their curiosity. One of the most intriguing aspects of the great dimming was its cause. Initially, scientists weren't sure what had triggered such a dramatic decrease in brightness. Here are some of the leading theories, dust ejection, one popular explanation is that Betelgeuse expelled a large amount of gas, which later condensed into dust. This dust cloud temporarily blocked the star's light, creating the appearance of dimming. Surface changes, Betelgeuse's surface is highly dynamic. Convective currents, or massive bubbles of hot gas rising and falling within the star, could have caused uneven brightness. Pre-supernova behavior, some speculated that the great dimming was a precursor to a supernova. However, this theory remains controversial, as such events are difficult to predict. Rapid rotation, surprisingly, Betelgeuse appears to be spinning faster than expected for a star of its size and age. This could be due to past interactions with a smaller companion star, adding another layer of complexity to the mystery. Astronomers around the globe scrambled to study Betelgeuse during the Great Dimming. Some of the world's most powerful telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter-Submillimeter Array, ALMA, were directed at the star. These observations provided critical insights into the phenomenon, Hubble observations, data from Hubble revealed that Betelgeuse had expelled a massive amount of material, which likely formed a dust cloud. ALMA data, ALMA's high-resolution images showed significant temperature changes on the star's surface, further supporting the idea of convective currents. Spectroscopic analysis, scientists also used spectroscopy to analyze the light from Betelgeuse. This technique helped them identify the chemical composition of the material surrounding the star, offering clues about its behavior. One of the key discoveries was the role of convective currents in Betelgeuse's dimming. These currents are essentially massive bubbles of gas that rise to the star's surface, cool, and then sink back down. During the great dimming, one of these bubbles likely rose to the surface and released a large amount of material. As this material moved away from the star, it cooled and formed a dust cloud, partially obscuring Betelgeuse's light. 
This process is somewhat analogous to boiling water. Just as bubbles rise and burst at the surface of a pot, convective currents cause similar disruptions on the star's surface. The result is a dynamic, ever-changing landscape that can produce dramatic events like the Great Dimming. The ultimate question is whether Betelgeuse's dimming signals an imminent supernova. Unfortunately, the answer is far from straightforward. While the Great Dimming was an extraordinary event, it's not necessarily a precursor to an explosion. Here's what we know, timing is uncertain, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, but in astronomical terms, nearing could mean thousands or even millions of years. No immediate danger, even if Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it's located about 550 light years away. At that distance, the explosion would pose no threat to Earth but would provide a spectacular light show visible even during the day. When a star like Betelgeuse goes supernova, it's one of the most violent events in the universe. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of what would happen, core collapse, the star's core runs out of nuclear fuel, causing it to collapse under its own gravity. Shockwave, the collapse generates a shockwave that travels outward, ripping the star apart. Energy release, the explosion releases an immense amount of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies. Neutron star or black hole, what's left behind depends on the star's mass. Betelgeuse could leave behind a neutron star or, if it's massive enough, a black hole. Betelgeuse's story is more than just an astronomical curiosity, it's a window into the life cycles of stars. By studying events like the Great Dimming, scientists gain valuable insights into the processes that govern the universe. This knowledge not only helps us understand other stars but also sheds light on the origins of the elements that make up our world. As we continue to study Betelgeuse, one thing is clear, this star has much to teach us. Whether it's preparing for a dramatic finale or simply going through another phase of its complex life cycle, Betelgeuse remains a source of endless fascination. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, take a moment to find Orion and its brightest star. Who knows? You might just be